Miss kenal tak ni? Kita paling swifty <laughs> Yang viral kat TikTok Saya si swifty oh. memang saya tak kenal Dan tak nak kenal Oh Saya gaduh dengan Mishana Sebab dia suka Ariana Grande <laughs> And I suka Taylor Swift <laughs> And dia cakap dia nak buang markah Kalau siapa suka Taylor Swift dalam kelas so, Sekarang ni kita dengan MPP daripada uh, Cawan Rapa Hal Suka so, budak-budak dia akan merebut ni Betul ke orang kata orang kedai ni kasak-kasak? Tak juga Tengoklah Mana? Welcome to Maccom the podcast. So, Rich, kita kat mana ni? Ah, uh, so sekarang kita kat Yatia Tengkil. Yes. And also Mr. President. Miss eh, apa Mr. ni? Mr. President, oh, Mr. President. Mr. President. Ah. Uh, uh. uh. Saya bayar dia sebenarnya untuk dekat. Okey, kau nampak nampaklah dari situ uh, eh. Budak baru. <laughs> Actually, tetamu kita untuk Maccom the podcast edition dekat Dengkil ni kita special sikit. Sebab sebelum ni kita ada student representative kan hmm. Tapi this for the first time kita ada lecturers di UITM ha. So mungkin macam Itu lah Dengkin Lagi lah Dengkin Mungkin uh, boleh kenalkan diri Okay Okay, so, okay thanks ya eh. Okay uh, Assalamualaikum and uh, very good day kepada semua And first of all saya ucapkan thank you so much kepada Maccom Maccom eh Okay Jemput kami Untuk sesi perkongsian yang ni uh, Which is interesting Walaupun dekat tengah-tengah Sebenarnya hari ni tak panas eh Kalau yeah. so, yeah. tak yeah. Ah, Baru lepas hujan yeah. Kalau tak memang yeah. terakhir pukul dah eh Ia adalah um, Nama ni yang diberi Hussein Hanibah Ataupun dengan pangkatnya Dengan semua-semua tu Dia akan jadi Chemist Dr. Hussein Hanibah Orang hebat ah. Orang hebat Chemist tu apa? He's flexing uh, Chemist tu apa? Ah. Maksud sebab dalam nama doktor ada chemist uh, so, Dr. Hussein uh, uh, Hanibah. So maksudnya apa kimia? Chemist ni saya adalah ahli kimia yang berdaftar dengan Institut oh. Kimia Malaysia. Hi everyone. Assalamualaikum. First of all, juga thank you. Naim. Uh, Naim was my ex student dulu zaman PKP. Wow. Ah, uh, jarang jumpa dia tapi dia Dah sangat besar panjang lah. Eh? Ya, betul. <laughs> besar panjang. Betul. Besar dan panjang. <laughs> okay. Okay, we we'll end the session today guys. Bye. <laughs> dia adalah kelas rap kepada okay. kelas saya yang sangat annoying sebenarnya. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Sel- selalu bergaduh dengan dia. Uh, but that, I think that's just our uh, relationship macam tu lah. Love your relationship dengan Naim. Uh, this is the catch show. Sekejap lagi. 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 Saya kenal dia daripada form 4 lagi. Uh, lain daripada Dr. Hussein, saya mengajar TASEL. TASEL. Oh. Uh, so, English as a second language. So, I'm a very novice lecturer actually. Baru uh, berkhidmat selama 3 tahun. Dah berapa tahun ni? Ha. Saya dah since mengajar tahun 2010 Wow 2010 ni sekarang ni Kita kat mana? Kita sama Dah 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 hidup ke belum? Dah 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 jampai Dah jampai Wow I baru Tak nak bagi tahu berapa Okay 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 Ha, ah, ni ya, sebab saya 21. Eh, boleh. Ni? Uh, saya 21 a few years back lah. Ah. So it means uh, 50 something. Ah, ah. That's not that's good. Yeah. So here get grandpa lah kita. Ah. Ah. Botol ni boleh ditenang. <laughs> oh, macam yang you guys tahu tajuk kita hari ni is actually cabaran dalam mengajar Gen Z. So kita obviously lah kena cakap. Berapa minit podcast ni? Tak cukup. Tak cukup. Tak cukup. Oh. <laughs> Banyak Nak cerita dia. pasal cabaran dia orang ni Kita perlukan 3 hari 3 malam Wah. Boleh tak kita Bengkel eh Bengkel Untuk ha. mendengar cabaran dia orang ha. ni kan Bukan, ca- bukan lagi cabaran Luahan perasaan yeah, so, That's what This is counselling ni Kita tukar lah ke Luahan Luahan Mengajar Gen Z Betul Ada kan macam masalah Cabaran yang sangat-sangat susah lah So boleh tak doktor Um, doktor, sorry what? Doktor Zain Saya pecat Sorry what? I nak, I nak moderator baru please <laughs> Ataupun sekadar uh, apa peluhan yang doktor nak share hmm. Luhan Luhan. Gen Z lah especially Gen Z yang lah. Macam hmm. zaman sekarang ni lah Macam zaman lah. sekarang ni lah Lain lagi dah mengajar berapa tahun tadi? Tahun 2010 berapa ah, eh? Lama lama lah, lah, lah. Tahun. So, Cut me uh, You can add uh, any yeah, point yeah, sure, okay. sure. So sebenarnya bukan generasi Z mm. Ataupun saya rasakan Bagi pencara ni Yang kami rasa cabaran sebenarnya Adalah sebelum Covid Semasa Covid dan selepas Covid mm. Betul True. Jadi kami rasa quite obvious Adalah dengan pelajar-pelajar <coughs> Semasa Covid dan post Covid Iaitu mm. selepas Covid mm. Dan mungkin sebelum Covid tu Kita still bagi saya Yelah, eh, saya dah yeah. mengajar lama sikit um, Kita still boleh apply A traditional teaching method mm. 
Yeah, that's the main difference lah. Kami perasan dia dah jadi lebih kepada um, online mm. and also kita dah jadi hybrid mm. and also kita dah ada banyak uh, sumber-sumber melibatkan uh, teknologi as you mentioned mm. earlier. Raja masa COVID ni mm-hmm. yang terlalu selesa dengan online classes eh dia dah bila dia kembali ke pangkal jalan reality dia dah jadi culture shock. Betul. Mm. Dia dah macam Uh, uh, dia, dia bukan kelas online tidur One thing tau Yang jadi kami stress ni Mengajar pelajar nasi ni Masa online especially Kami buat lawak Lepas tu kami kena gelak betul, seseorang betul. Oh, <laughs> Misana selalu Misana selalu buat I jadi question myself Am I not funny now? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Saya kadang check the connection Saya ni betul ke tak ada connection Ada pun sometimes Always nak tanya Can you see my slide? Can yeah. you see my slide? Oh. Uh. And uh, one part and to one extent Saya kena Hidup lagi ke tak Eh mudah-mudah Ni that's Betul. one to me So worse with English I think Because yes. uh, Especially I pernah mengajar drama mm-hmm. Second semester Betul. Drama is a very Practical skills Kind uh-huh. of subject kan Memerlukan participation Yang banyak uh, Tapi bila online tu uh, And some students They reluctant To participate online I'm not sure hmm. why Mungkin uh, Bila they turn on Their microphone tu Mungkin tertumpu Kepada mereka sahaja kan When they hmm. were speaking tu So They become very reluctant untuk bercakap And I don't get the uh, Participation that I want I don't get the response That I want yes. So it's very hard lah For you to measure Whether or not you have Achieved the Learning uh-huh. outcome mm. or not It's not only from the Non-science field mm. Like mm. you mentioned It's like Language wise mm. right? Imagine I myself A background from chemistry mm. I'm teaching to chemistry to Imagine to like to I want to do some Explain eh? It's about the Hands on ni Dengan uh, Orang kira Online It's a totally different Imagine hmm. kita nak cerita pasal This is the reaction going on Dia macam mm. mm. So, mm. kalau ah. right. macam dulu video je lah huh? Memang kena harapkan video yes, satu je lah Yes, that is what we have go through during Tapi, and one more thing eh, mm. You can add on as well mm. After COVID, di mana pendedahan yang ni Menyebabkan uh, c- pelajar-pelajar sangat celik IT Betul. Terlalu advance oh. IT Hai, bye-bye We, maybe me, a bit older generation <laughs> <laughs> macam ni yeah. I need to quickly adapt With the okay. current situation mm. Ataupun Nah Pekerja Piece of the, the Yang budak ni I'm mm. Sebab Dia mm. kena tahu Macam mana nak buat Editing video mm. Nak buat kelas menarik yeah. Like sekarang We are not just educators We are also content creators Yes wow. oh. Betul So literally. follow saya punya Instagram <laughs> <laughs> Jangan follow Jangan tak follow eh Jangan <laughs> 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 follow eh Jangan tak follow Jangan tak follow Jangan What happened And one more thing Cabaran kita adalah Selain kapal terbang Yang selalu terbang dekat sini adalah cabaran kita yang lain adalah uh, dia tu chat GPT macam Betul. mana oh, yes. Yes. Ha, yes. asasi student pun ada of course. course you ingat asasi student tak renti chat GPT the way they write yes. uh, and yeah. we can detect they are cheating And I think that's also the reason why we adjust our questions as well yes. A bit more to application, mm. a bit ah. more to analyzing Because we know that chat GPT, they just bagi, they mm. kumpul data and then they just put it in a nice text to mm. sound smart mm. Tapi sebenarnya tak ada value sangat pun dalam yes. chat GPT tu yeah. We adjust our questions to um, application, um, more higher order thinking skills So that they themselves can relate to um, uh, you know, real life context apa semua So that's how we know lah uh, They don't use chat GPT as much yeah. So macam tadi se- ada Dr. Hussein ada sebut term such as culture shock after dah apa semua kan I mean I nak tanya macam opinion ni mm-hmm. From your POV as a lecturer mm-hmm. Macam from you guys pun macam mana Daripada online dah apa semua mm. Jadi bukan kena ajar fizikal yeah, okay. ha. So I think my experience is a bit different than doctor mm. Because yeah, I start-start start, start, ha. uh, Because I'm still very new I start-start pun dah memang online Betul. So bila nak masuk ke physical physical. class tu um, I can see Stuck different sangat Sebab mm-hmm. students ni uh, They tend to be Masih lagi takut-takut mm-hmm. Diorang so. masih like Especially for asasi students kan Diorang mm-hmm. fresh out of school betul, betul, betul. So diorang masih lagi Nak adapt with the situation And I don't blame them betul. 100% mm-hmm. Sebab kesian juga diorang dia, They they missed uh, quite a few years of school mm-hmm. juga betul. So that social skill pun Mungkin belum develop sepenuhnya mm-hmm. So um 
again what was question <laughs> Aku macam macam the, how we adapt how we adapt how we adapt how i adapt wow. <laughs> tengok nampak nampak susahlah jangan kita boleh chat gpt jangan lagi Banyaknya memang uh, guna ad, uh, guna banyak learning strategy yang a bit more active. Mm. Uh, uh, active learning, um, uh, I I don't go with uh, traditional method sangat. Ter- mm. Tak tak banyak terlampau lecture sangat. Uh, not so much, but if I buat lecture pun interactive lecture, mm, yes. and I tend to and yes. I tend to do a lot of activities with my students. Even masuk online pun, I'm pretty sure Betul. Naim says Betul. Naim tak tahu lah. You ingat ketak masa ingat, ingat. So, argumentative, I buat argumentative, I buat debate. Apa betul, semua betul. So um, That helps lah I think hopefully uh, Saya rasa untuk mengajar Generasi Z ni mm. One more thing adalah Kita kena Sebab men, mungkin Mental health pun Satu one of oh, the yes, mental Yes Definitely uh-huh. uh, Doktor rasa Gen Z ni macam Terlampau manja ke sebenarnya uh, uh. Because Ah, uh, I was sebab, about to go there juga uh, Orang cakap macam Gen Z ni macam sikit-sikit manja Manja Macam Terasa macam is it, is Saya it? rasa Daripada saya awal mengajar Sampai sekarang The student The behavior of the student Is same hmm. Nothing change Tak adanya Orang cakap uh, Manja it, Bagi saya eh, If you pun. are that student hmm. We can detect That is a character Of a particular student hmm. Cumanya Mungkin lah ya, Dia orang cakap Manja In term of what Mungkin zaman dulu-dulu hmm. Nak dapatkan gadget tu Mungkin Betul. susah hmm. Jadi sekarang Gadget memang Dalam tangan kita hmm. So itu mungkin lah some of us define mm. as manja. I think mm. social media also. Social media, um, yes. When you have social upload. media, you upload, you compare your life, mm. and then benda tu is actually a very, uh, yeah, one of the biggest factor untuk you punya mental health deteriorate yes. tau. Uh. Sebab kita jadi uh, kita ni jadi mm. bukan saja jadi lecturer tau kita kena memainkan peranan as a counselor, Sebab to, to cakap, motivator. We're not just teachers, we're not just educating them, we are also counselor kita lah yang uh. menjadi mm. content creator ni. Yes. Yes. So, everything. So, um, kita pun dah dengar macam all the cabaran mm. and things like. So maybe macam Mishana mm. dengan Dr. Hussein maybe can share with us satu macam story ke experience yang dengan Gen Z ni Yang macam Yang sampai sekarang ingat lah Yang macam Yang tak depressed ke Yang doktor pernah handle uh, anything, uh, anything lah anything Yang lah, fun ke Kelakar ke uh, uh, Pasal kelas um, kita orang ke <laughs> Our class is the <laughs> best cakap, lah cakap, 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 Okay do you want Do you, do you want the The good one ke The negative one ke The positive uh, Tak kisah be, boleh je lah okay, uh, okay I'll share both lah Okay uh-huh. uh, In terms of negative I rasa Um, some lah Not mm. all I tak nak pukul rata Tapi Some of the Gen Z nowadays They are not even aware That the things that they do to Is not right mm. They don't know how to read the room mm. uh, And sometimes Lack of ethics I would say I ada pernah dapat uh, <laughs> Dapat uh, Text from my student mm-hmm. Dia tanya I Best bila tu? <laughs> This, I cannot disclose Risau sangat lah Risau sangat She texted me Uh, she eh? Alamak! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awas ya! By the time she finish the story, she already can't get it. Betul. She texts me, she said that Miss boleh tak dia nak datang kelas for 10 minutes to sign the attendance and then goes off. Because she was not feeling well. So I macam... Okay, macam mana yeah. tu It's considered you You don't come to class betul, lah betul, betul. And you wouldn't even ask your friends To sign uh-huh. Sign your attendance for you kan So macam I think the problem with Gen Z ni Mungkin They they don't even know that The hmm. the thing that they're doing is wrong Sebenarnya hmm. uh. uh-huh. Yang seramnya kan Diorang tak sedar yang Exactly sebenarnya. Exactly itu, itu, salah. Uh, itu yang salah Because if you know that that's wrong You wouldn't even have the audacity hmm. To text your lecturer And betul, saying betul, that betul. Boleh tak nak masuk kelas 10 minit je Pasal nak keluar Kan oh Kalau you tahu yeah. benda tu You uh, you takkan buat uh, Exactly But the good ones I think coming from Naim's class oh. <laughs> Walaupun tak jumpa diorang uh, I think I've never met the whole class Ya yeah, Tak pernah yeah, pun Tak pernah Tak sempat uh, Because the, uh, Ada plan untuk datang But then COVID strikes mm-hmm. again And then They had to go back uh, But they were very very sweet uh, mm-hmm. Because I can't see that. <laughs> like that's right. Are you with and, the doctor? Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, for, for the past three years, I mengajar ni, I rasa safe to say that batch orang adalah yang paling rapat. Sampai oh. sekarang pun masih contact. And even if they oh. orang buat uh, event ke apa, I would still go. Uh, macam hari oh. tu, I BUM, support some of my students uh-huh. there. Uh, even Naim uh, panggil ni pun still support. So, uh, 
so one of the good things about Gen Z ni uh, they are very appreciative juga uh, uh, sangat yeah. the same goes to miss like kita ingat lagi uh, share sikit lah waktu tu kan kita orang baru masuk degree one month kot <laughs> yang one month lepas tu macam uh-huh. everyone macam trying to adapt uh-huh. macam degree life kan uh-huh. lepas tu macam kita orang mesin miss Shana lepas tu kita orang buat satu google meet For 3 hours yes, ke 2 hours Just yes. untuk borak Masa je tu macam, dah habis asasi ha. ah. Masa tu macam dalam kelas Masa tu macam, <laughs> macam dalam kelas balik Masa tu macam borak Masa tu they were uh, adapting with degree, degree life, life And I know it's asasi. not easy And I know it's not easy Because hmm. I baru habis degree pun Macam like Masa tu 7, 6 years lebih lebih So macam it was still fresh in my mind <laughs> So uh, I understand the struggles of being a student So that's why macam I think Aww. they need some moral support Aww. lah kan Oh, tu Maybe you can share your experience uh, It can be good, it can be bad Towards your uh, the Gen Z lah Maybe, think. Yang baik zaman saya juga ke? Saya <laughs> 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 dengar burung gagal <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sebenarnya kan Gen Z Especially one of the thing challenging for me eh, Adalah saya ni jenis yang bersemangat tau Especially <laughs> mengajar We can tell uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Saya ni sangat bersemangat bila Especially nak sampaikan in mula <laughs> Kadang saya buat extra class Up uh, until night Ooh. 10 o'clock wow. to, to support dia Buat coaching Tutorial lah um, Dia punya Checkpoint exercise <coughs> Everything kan Tapi the problem With Gen Z ni Dia end up kan Saya yang bersemangat Budak semua macam ni <coughs> <coughs> So They are they, It mean Dia are macam Kita ni Lecturer ni Kita akan jadi bersemangat When student are giving Betul. A positive Betul. Response Betul. I can Trust me When we are standing at In front of the student And we are talking about at Giving lecture We can see Every inch of you Betul hmm. Yes Itu bukan ada dua mata Yes Banyak mata sebenarnya They are interested or not right Yeah I'm Not interested They think that Is that really necessary hmm. So it mean Mungkin juga Mungkin juga As I told you In the very first place Those kind of students Dia orang rasa macam I datang sini nak belajar That's it Tak nak balik hmm. Dia tak nampak hmm. dia, dia bukan Dia tak nampak Value of uh, the knowledge uh, Yes hmm. Whereby They are looking at the knowledge For exam base yes, That is betul. very very Much wrong <coughs> Do you know not After Sebenarnya Saya tekankan Belajar Dengan Sepanjang hayat In more untuk Sepanjang hayat hmm. It's the entire life betul. You need to have this kind of knowledge life learning then I, I keep uh, life learning yeah, mm-hmm. thank you for the word so uh, that is what I'm talking tapi student end up no they focus on exam how to score mark what is the scheme what is the uh, key point that I need to give it to, in order to get an A mm-hmm. that is wrong mm-hmm. that is wrong so that is the point I notice on like, lately lah, with this kind of student yeah, they have become so tired tapi nevertheless the, in terms of class point when Gen Z ni, if they like a lecturer, they stick to the lecturer to a very, they are very close. Mm. They're willing to do anything for this uh, mm. lecturer. They are willing to, uh, how to say, do more for mm. that particular lecturer. Tapi Gen Z ni, once they tak suka lecturer tu, dia oh. akan letak. Dia viral, viral kan? Uh, viral. Sama dia, dia, dia betul-betul betul suka le- ataupun tak suka. Uh, it's either dia yang tak ada kata-kata. There's no uh, middle ground to uh, it lah. Yeah. Dia macam, at the end of the spectrum, suka dia, atau tak? Dia uh. kalau tak suka kan, dia dah pegang handphone lah. Hmm. Okay, kita rakam dia. Oh. Kita viral. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, <laughs> kalau dia suka kan? Oh, okay. Ah, oh. uh, that's the Gen Z lah. So, so I think that is also having to build the relationship dulu dengan mm, your students is yes, also very important. Yes, yes. Okay? So bagi saya kan uh, lecturer-lecturer yang tengah dengar ni, mm. make sure lah kita jadi student friendly. Yes. Uh, okay. Kita bukan kita ni bukan pengetua. Uh, ataupun hmm. cegu Kita jadi kawan mereka yes. Untuk in order They can absorb the knowledge In a better way mm-hmm. That is my advice to all of you But that's the best part actually With Miss Shana and also Dr. Hussein and Even though they are macam Student friendly So kita rasa macam Welcome in dekat kelas orang. Tapi every time they give works ke apa Kita still akan takut juga yes. Faham tak? Dia orang macam yeah, Bukan lah macam student friendly Lepas tu macam oh, Tak apalah Betul. Miss okay je I Tapi pernah marah kelas Pernah uh, Tidak Tiga. pernah 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 eh? Sebab Pernah. kita tak buat kerja ke? Ya yeah. ah. <laughs> Geram Tapi I mean Mungkin bukan saya lah kot I don't know wow, Not man. me Confident <laughs> Tidak juga <laughs> Tapi like That's the thing lah uh, Macam knowing Macam ada kelam Mishana ke Dr. Hussein <laughs> At least Tak ada pun thoughts yang macam Oh they are friendly oh, So kerja pun Biarlah tak yalah Buat apa sebenarnya pun Memang still nak buat juga So I think that's it Rish Kita dah dengar banyak luahan kan Luahan yang 
Okay, for, uh, maybe kita post podcast ni 20 minit Tapi kita recording sebenarnya lebih dari 20 minit eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sebenarnya uh, ni, apa tiga hari eh perlu kan Nanti yes, mungkin sir. kita akan come back hari. untuk panggil Semua lecturer-lecturer berkumpul Student bawa ha, luahkan kat <laughs> orang kan <laughs> Betul lah I think a lot of to tell lah Ya yeah. Because sometimes kita kena tengok situation tu from different perspective as well So from the lecturer's perspective kan So maybe macam yang miss study pun ada cakap yang pasal Student tu tak sedar pun yang dia being disrespectful kan So macam maybe bila kita dah dengar the perspective from the lecturer's pengajar ni Maybe akan berubah lah sikit Perangai tu akan fikir dua tiga kali Harap-harap semua boleh ambil iktibah lah daripada doktor and miss Shana punya Doktor apa? Doktor Doktor apa nama aku? Oh. Ah, yeah. dia ingat nama kan? Yeah. Yeah. I need new moderator. Yeah. I need new moderator. 